Hey Crushers, Young here. I'm bringing you another episode of Young vs. the World series. Um, We're in Barbarian Female Week. As you can see, I've gotten one defensive win. I did change my defensive team right after uh, Richie had attacked me this morning, but I haven't been attacked since then. I realized that I was right on the... right on the cusp of something pretty spectacular. So I'm removing Skeleton Giant from my lineup and I'm bringing in Chaos instead. So you can see my Chaos here. I'm more likely than not going to be awakening him to the sixth Awakened Star and then that'll be it for him. Um, I did increase him to weapon level 9. You can see I went heavy on attack there, 449%. And This is from runes like this one. Attack, attack, attack. But it's meant to be devastating in terms of attack power. And then the nimble runes to help maximize survivability, which I'm hoping will help compensate for the fact that I didn't go very heavy with HP. I'm not worrying about area of effect that much because I've got good AoE with Gladiator and with Siegfried. So this is just meant for DPS, especially against enemy Siegfrieds. So we will see how that works. Um, this team doesn't look awful, but it looks very stall heavy. I should be able to handle that though. I don't see anything like frightening or anything like that. So up against Goatee. See Chaos is already immediately up there dealing a good amount of damage, which is I mean, really impressive considering he's only a 7-5 right at the moment. Okay, so Monkey, Kaz, and Pookie. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Just, I'm not going to win any of these. We may as well go for the top. So this is Pookie, the reigning Blitz champion. Could not do anything. <laughs> that <laughs> The Monkey King just kept me stunlocked the whole time. So that's okay. Um, I was donated some flus, so I will uh, be able to continue making stuff like normal and progressing like normal for the time being. So we have stall, stun. This looks manageable at least, so up against Cordy Bro. Chaos. Targeted. Come on. Get some hits in on that Siegfried. I'm keeping it stunlocked just about, which was pretty pretty cool to see. I don't do that often. So again, you see Siegfried, my 7-7, seven, seven, uh, Sorrow, which is 7-6, and Chaos, which is 7-5, Gladiator, which is 7-6. Which we've seen Gladiator really shine, especially when I'm up against teams that have a lot of water. main issue at the moment. I have no idea what I can handle or what I can't. <laughs> That's fire heavy. I can't really handle that that well. That one looks safe, at least. I feel like I can take a 7-7 Siegfried. The 7-6 Vlad is kind of intimidating, but that just depends on which way my spawn order comes out. We'll try that. Spooky Boogie. I do appreciate you guys continuing to watch. As always, if you have any questions or comments after watching this video, please leave them in the comment section below, or reach out to me through the official Discord, which you can access through the settings of the game in the community section. Come on. That's been pointed out that my lag is probably stemming from... Okay, hold on. Side note, all aside. Uh, Chris, you had been asking me specifically for some feedback as to what you could be doing to improve from here. I mean, the main thing is it just looks like you need more Awakened Stars on your stuff, but that's going to come with time. You're just going to have to grind that out. Let's go ahead and do the battle. We'll see how 
you play out against me. Gladiator on my side is in the front tanking. Come on, Siegfried. I feel like I did pretty good considering there. I don't think I've ever gone up against an Ornok like that before. So. I forgot about the stats. You guys forgot to remind me. Alright. So. <laughs> 105 million damage. And recovered 29 million. That's a substantial amount, really. And the, that would have been the difference of that match easily. Alright. Um. More Awakened Stars, I'd focus on Ornok, especially since you've got him at 7-5 already. Uh, definitely seems like the right direction and path to be working. And that one looks easy, I should be able to handle that team without issue. That's a very intimidating looking team. And a 7-6 Ornok. <laughs> the 7-6 Vlad, okay. So, Rex. <laughs> How you doing, Rex? You're my target. Manageable looks very nice right now. I feel like Chaos is doing pretty good, all things considered. Not really used to using him yet. Um, Bear Pig! With the 7-6 Ornok. So, this is the week of the Ornok, apparently. I'm mainly just curious to see how your team is doing now. Which again, for you, I mean, same deal, you're just working on shards, so that's going to come with time. Work on awakening your heroes. Focusing on Ornok, I think, is a very wise decision. Ornok is a very strong hero. It's clearly helping you maintain in the Legendary Leagues. And the reason why you drop so heavily there is not because of anything on your side, but because, well... Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of the fact I have more Awakens than you, easily, and then, um, and you, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, yeah. You're <laughs> lacking Awakened Stars. So got through Ornok. I can beat Bear Pig on Gladiator Week. This might be one of the last times I'm ever able to beat you, though. Your team is definitely getting a lot better. Icon? I can? Icon A. And Chaos, yep, my Chaos is down. Almost through the Gladiator. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get much further than that. Oh, got to Siegfried. I might just pull this one off. My Cersei's possessing the Vlad. I cannot believe that. I did not think I was going to win that one. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there's a win against Icon. 106, 88, 10. I realize I forgot to look at Bear Pig stats afterwards. Uh, 98 million damage taken by Gladiator. 87 million from his. Siegfried almost recovered a million health. Not quite. Strong team. Very strong team. I don't think I can handle that one. Very strong team as well. Very similar to my team, really. Seven six Vlad. So here's the thing, this is the easiest of the three if I can get through the Siegfried fast enough. Which, same deal here, but I'm thinking I'll probably end up having to fight Vlad, or, uh, Gladiator first here. Which wouldn't be bad if my Siegfried or my Gladiator was in front of my Chaos for this. I'm gonna go for Spooky Boogie. 
again. Come on, big money. That's not big money. Come on. Do more. Siegfried. Siegfried. Okay. No spooky boogie. Ravishing Chimp, very strong Atlantis, very strong Furiosa. The 7-7 seven, seven Furiosa with the top level weapon is going to be a long time of chipping down to be able to get through her. Which in that time, the Siegfried with the buff from One-Eye and Onyx is going to just completely trash me. And then I'm getting pushed back because of Aqua on the other side. So, that's not a good matchup for me. Not this week, anyway. Uh, that's more manageable. I'm going to be dealing with a lot of freeze. And I guarantee you that Parato is set up to do splash freeze. So, it's going to stall everything out on my front line. And then Pookie, who I already know I can't go up against. I'm going to refresh. I don't have a street going, so I lost nothing there. Kaz PC. That's where I'm going, right there. It's much more manageable than the previous teams I was looking at. See my Siegfried's already targeting the enemy Chaos, which, as long as I don't get frozen, I should be able to get off an S2 and deal some major damage there. Come on. Come on, Siegfried. Okay. Never mind. Ignore me. This is why I shouldn't encourage them. And I'll lose. Okay. Whatever. Siegfried should have at least gotten an S2 off there, but... 91 million damage. I just recovered 28 million. Wow. Okay. Alright. Jericho... That's a whole lot of nope. Monkey. Again. No. And you know, that's you've got a really solid team overall. Like it's just so well balanced, everything about it. You've got Atlantis for anti stun, you've got Siegfried backed up with your sorrow, and you've got all your buffer and debuffer going. A lot of attack buffer. So I'm seeing that you're very attack heavy. I'm guessing you're ruined attack heavy as well. I'm wondering if you have your gladiator set up to tank. That'd be pretty interesting. I'd go for it, but there's no way I'm gonna win that. Well, okay. Flock. Flock looks manageable. May not pull the win there. Already looked at that one, yeah. I can probably get the win there. All I need is an S2 from Siegfried, and it'll take out most of that side. Just an S2. Give me one S2, Siegfried, before you die. Come on. There we go. Now all I have to do is rip through that chaos. Oh my gosh. Alright. That's just not my day. How many tickets do I have left? I have one left. A 7-6 Mecha Valken? I gotta see that. <laughs> Caesar Zappelli. Come on, get Mecha Valken before he just completely trashes you. Oh my gosh. Did not even target him. Just was not my day. Competition is really tough up in Legendary 2, let me tell you what. I don't think any amount of spending today is going to get me up there, so I'm going to go ahead and let 
let myself drop down. I'll be a legendary one tomorrow, and then we'll just try pushing from there and staying up at the top from that point forward. As always, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you.